my channel if you're returning or welcome if you're new. There are several types of body shapes that exist out there and knowing which one is yours can be kind of helpful because then you'll be able to pose better in photos. When you have the right shape in mind, you're able to create much more aesthetically pleasing photos uh, as a result because you'll know what to do with, let's say for example, I have an inverted triangle body shape. so. I know that my shoulders are broader and my hips are narrower, so creating a shape with that setup in mind is what I'm working with. So because I'm an inverted triangle, I have to keep in mind that I am trying to reduce my shoulders. I'm also trying to widen my hips or give more volume to them on the bottom half and to create angles because I don't really have curves unless like I'm bringing my butt cheek over to the front. But other than that, like I'm a straight line on the sides, creating angles helps with that. Now there's a misconception that inverted triangles can't be curvy, which I beg to differ. <laughs> Just cause your shoulders are wider than your hips, that doesn't mean you can't have a butt like Come on now. <laughs> now there's some people that have more boute than others and that's where it gets a little bit more easier for the rounded mounded people versus the ones that don't have the round mound. There's a bunch of slim bodied people that are easily making creative and fantastic looking photos and on the opposite side of the spectrum there's also um, thick and plus size women that are also making wonderful photos too because they know what to do with their body. Not necessarily that they do or don't have something, but like just knowing what to do helps. So the goal is to create illusion. And I just had this thought like high key, I think it might be catfishing a little <laughs> because um, I guess it, in real life, that shape isn't naturally there when you're walking, but then again, your body made that shape. So is it really catfishing? If your real body made those real shapes? Hmm. <laughs> the absolute first major rule that you must follow is that you should not be dead on, just straight at the camera. That is so unflattering. It gives elementary school class photo vibes <laughs> like no we don't want that we have graduated from elementary okay we are PhD students okay we're trying to be excelled in this okay <laughs> so some other tips you can keep in mind is to play with your environment okay um, are you sitting in a car or are you walking upstairs are you like playing with your hair playing purse um there's just so much things around you that you can play with so definitely take that to your advantage when you're trying to post for a photo it can help you can also lean on items too to help create um different shapes that you wouldn't be able to do just standing up or sitting down you know so try that out too. I briefly mentioned this before, but create angles. The goal is to create triangles and um, just angles overall, wide, acute angles throughout your body with your body's shape, how it's angled. You know, you can also use the rest of your body with that as well and arms. All of that comes into play when you're trying to make angles. You can use the prop that you're up against maybe to make angles. So maybe you have your foot propped up against something and then that creates that triangle angle, you know what I mean? So play with those um, acute and obtuse type of like angles, you know, triangle angles. <laughs> Put emphasis on your favorite body Heart. You got some pearly whites or do you have some long lovely hair? Just work it girl. You got to have a favorite something and if you're someone that's like I don't have a favorite part Pause Put the pause If you take the moment to just stop hating on yourself just for a little bit, you'll be able to find something trust me it's like super easy to fall into the trap of oh there's nothing great about me, but Trust me sis, there's something. If you don't see it, somebody else will see it. So, period sis. Okay, another thing. 
definitely use if you have an iPhone use iPhones um, live photo function to be able to like um, scrub through the photo at the end because maybe you took a photo and you don't like how it came out however if you scrub through the live photo like like um, what do you call them like thumbnails frames if you look through the frames um, you'll be able to find maybe a better pose or better moment in time where um, where you looked better so definitely keep that in mind go back in and look through the photos not just throw it out immediately because you don't like it like when you're going through your photos you can put your thumb down really quick and it'll give you like a little pre play like preview thing of the live photo like section so just take a look at that and you might be able to find something better than the original thing that it took if you have anything else that you're taking pictures with definitely utilize the burst mode like every camera I know has a burst mode at this point if your camera doesn't have a burst mode I guess if it's like when I was like Kodak cameras you know what I mean Polaroid but I digress digital cameras all have burst modes so utilize that if you don't have an iPhone it'll also give you more natural movements too so that's a huge plus as well of course starting with your arms some tips for that do not keep them flat against you they will appear larger and thicker because all of that flab is bunched up together feel me so what you want to do is keep your arms away from your body so that they're not like so that they're not bigger than what they are you know like check this out all that meat is gathering so give it some space from your body push them away from the camera so remember anything closer to the camera will appear bigger and anything farther from the camera will appear smaller with that in mind with your shoulders back they'll appear smaller but when you have them forward they appear bigger so roll them shoulders back sis relax relax <laughs> When taking up close bus shots, kind of like, kind of like this, up close bus shots where it's just like right up to here, um, you want to keep in mind keeping your arms back a little bit. So, taking your elbows and putting them in, it'll make them appear smaller versus if you just have them regularly in front of you. And last but not least, posture. You want to make sure you have a nice posture, an upright like flow of your spine you don't want to slouch you want to keep yourself up so that directly correlates with your shoulders so keep that in mind ah the sun is going down okay so tips for your hips you want to shift your weight keep it going up and down you got to keep that bounce going girl you got to keep it going so on one hip or the other hip you want to make sure you lean all your weight on one side so that your hip will appear bigger you also want to hip swivel bring that round around okay you want to bring those humps to the front so in this clip i'm going to show you how to do that right quick So other things for your hips, you wanna keep one hip higher than the other. You wanna keep them going up and down, side to side, but never parallel. You don't wanna keep it straight across. The foot that doesn't have your weight on it should be relaxed. You can point it if you want, it'll look cute. Or you could just keep it flat on the ground. 
and the other foot will have all the weight on it so it'll be leaning all the way to that side and then the other loose leg will just be there for show just just look cute you know just a little cute and the big secret is to keep the foot or both your feet straight so it looks like all that curvature is useless so keep them feet straight pointed straight and if you're pointing your toe then that doesn't um, count but if you're not pointing your toe then keep your feet straight so that it looks like that curve is you for your waist I recommend if you have something baggy on you can bring it up at the waist like if you have a baggy t-shirt for instance you want to use that dip inside like wherever your um, <laughs> Wherever your natural dip in your sides are, trust me, if you have no curvatures, you, you have a natural dip. It's just some have it more prominent than others, but it is there. It's probably like at the very, very bottom of your rib cage, that's where you'll find it. So bring your shirt there, you know, bring the emphasis there and gather that fabric there at that point. You can have it a little lower, a little higher. You can just play with it. Just see which one, which works for you because it might be a little high or a little low, depending on what you're wearing. But um, that's just like the general like starting point though that you wanna do. So bring it there. The goal is to use your waist as a central point. And last but not least, your abs. You wanna keep it tight, but you don't wanna suck in your stomach because that is obvious. Don't do that, <laughs> okay? Don't, okay? Like, that's obvious. What you wanna do is you wanna tighten your core as if you are doing a plank exercise. I hope you know what I mean by that. But like, as if you were trying to hold up your body with your abdominal muscles. Um, I'm not sure how you would like, okay, so a good way to feel for that is like, when you're coughing, that little, that little contraction you feel pretty much that but hold it but don't go <clears throat> okay like don't strain your you know your throat doing it but do a little gentle cough <clears throat> and you'll see how it's tensing that's kind of what you want to do but like you want to hold it so hopefully that makes sense um, if it doesn't comment down below I'll try to explain it better the goal really is to make sure that your core is in but not necessarily to the point where it's so obvious that it looks like your chest is lifting up. So you want to keep everything looking natural as possible. If you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help for posing, I am offering booking for calls where I can guide you through how to pose, getting you comfortable, and some go-to starter ones just for you. So visit my website and go ahead and book there and i'll see you there if you'd like some customized personal help comment down below if you found this helpful or if you have any other questions or video requests along the lines of how to take pictures posing and just overall looking like a baddie so until next time see ya bye